basic one, but this kind of implementation you you know you won't do uh, in the project, right? So uh, you, uh, obviously you are, you need to use forms and you need to use inputs, right? So for example, here you are using input type um, text and maybe the name is equal to name and kind of uh, this is okay. I take this as a title and uh, and description. And after that, the button button for a uh, summit. Right? So you need to submit. So whenever you are submitting something at that time, uh, you need to uh, get back all the state state values so, and click on submit here. Console log of so um, const on summit. So here you need to put console log of all the values. What are the values we have in the state? Right? We have title and description. Um, console title and description. Description. Right? We need to whenever the whenever the user click on submit at that time we need to get all the input values and we need to send back send to the API and the API will store in the database. Right? Uh, so that's the actual uh, idea. So I'm creating the form group. Class name. So we use input. Obviously, we need to use label. Uh, this is title, right? So and use the same layout. So this will be description. And save it. And go back. Title and description is not defined. Yes. So uh, we need to store title and description in state in the state variable. So for that, uh, we need to use two states. So one state for a title and another variable for description. Right. So here, uh, title and this will be description. And when you when you use input at that time, the ini initial value will be null or empty. So that's what I make it as empty. Go back. Description is not defined. Maybe the spelling mistake. Yeah. So uh, forget about the designing side. So we will see uh, uh, how to use React Bootstrap or Material um, for our uh, for our sample project. Uh, currently focus on only the functional side, right? So so the actual idea is we we just build the form with two inputs. The user clicks something and if he clicks submit at that time. It should be uh, written here, right? So. So, uh, as I told, input have the default uh, event called on change, right? So whenever the event change, at that time we need to handle the event. So we need to handle the handle the change, handle change function. Here we have copied that. The same change also happened here. So on change, and we are putting the function name here, right? For that, you need to uh, create a separate function to handle the particular changes. Handle change, and Handle change will receive the event, and here you can um, console it like event dot event dot target. I just put event alone. Save it. Uh, go back to the browser. When you have the title, start typing. It will return the event for the particular title as well as in the description. So we are we are handling a single function for the multiple inputs. So I remove it and I delete it. Uh, type of sample and open this particular uh, event, a uh, synthetic base event. And here you can see uh, the the type is changed and the React uh, event is unchanged. And how to get this particular value? Right, sample here it is right. So how to get that? So instead that we have the target and we have the value. Right. So here we can see what are the value present here. So and uh, also we need the name. Uh, for the particular uh, element, right? So event dot So here you can see name name is equal to title if you check with the description uh, name is equal to 
description like that whatever we see in the props here right uh, like name description name title like that so for that you need to get these informations from the target so what we need to do we need to do even dot target dot name and even dot target dot value okay. so save it now go back and sample data so here you can see title get i sample data and description or uh, test description you can see description name have the value for test description so with the help of this name you need to update in the state variable so we have the so what you need to do you need to check uh, you can use if condition or switch case i go with switch case here so i i just uh, creating one switch case so here you need to uh, put this this one as a key right if that is a name or uh, if that is a title then if that is a title then we need to do set title right so what are the value we get from the even dot target dot value right? uh, in the similar manner um if you want to if you go with description then you can use the same thing so we can use directly uh like uh, we can use directly set description set title with the if condition but uh, currently in our form have only two inputs may in the real world scenario uh, as a form definitely it should have multiple inputs right so that's what i i'm using the some regular way uh, using switch cases so for this you need to use set description right and uh, yep so here we go uh, that's all so we saved it uh, we successfully handled the change and whenever uh, the user clicking on submit at that time it should be uh, show in the console log uh, title description right so go back uh, clear the catch refresh the page our uh, type title are like a sample title and go to description test description and click submit um yep, there is something uh, when the user clicking on submit at that time they need to get event and event dot um uh what is that event dot um even uh, okay first put console on this Yep, sure. Uh, this is the default one. So, what are the even happen? Uh, if you use prevent default, it will it won't uh, redirect to all the pages. So now we can go. Uh, we type something in the title and description when you click submit. So it will show the title and the description. So here uh, you can form an object. So whenever you call the API at that time, you need to send the object, right? So like this. So when you submit, it will, it will show you the description. What is the description available here? And the title, what are the title the user entered there? Like uh, title, sample title, test, description, click submit, you can see the proper data. Right? Uh, by this way, you need to handle the events. Right? So after that, you can call the API and uh, you can send this data uh, to the backend. So this is the way you need to handle uh, the particular uh, state for the forms. So for example, if you want to show errors, uh, if that is empty, Right. If you submit, then it should be uh, show the error, right? So for that, uh, uh, you can send back here in the title. Uh, you can set errors uh, for the title. For example, here the set title will be a single value. Uh, instead of that, you can uh, set title will be an object, and the value will be this, and the array and the error is true or not, like has error false or because we have the value right so here we can check with the values there then you can set it as true else you can set it as false in the similar way you can do for the description 
object and the initially uh, you can say the empty object with value is empty and has error false the default initial value so by this way you can handle so for example if you want to show the error here then you can use a of here i'm using the p tag class sorry uh, the style um color color will be red um this is required the same thing you can make in here and so you can say here um uh, title and this particular value will be title dot value so description dot value similarly here title dot value right so uh, for this uh, error message you need to validate whether the title dot has error if there then you can show the error messages similarly here you need to check with the description so the description have the error or not right so uh, whenever you are start typing at that time it will start start throw the error so we'll read okay put single quotes see we we'll go back so when you start typing uh, okay maybe even dot value okay if the value is there then it will false else it will be true so we'll go back so when you start typing it never go, never show any error if the title is empty it will show uh, this is record in the similar value in the similar manner the description empty so it show this is record so uh, now i handle the uh, error cases whenever i did uh, in the on change right so you try from your end how to do with on submit